Good morning all, welcome back to So Granny So. I wanted to go ahead and get this third part done on this Christmas quilt, uh, seeing as Christmas is over. But as you can see, I put the solid blue border around the outside edge, so the corners are now floating. Um, I know it's hard to see right there, but it's on the same on all four corners. So I have decided I'm going to go ahead and use this and put another border. It's what the corners are made out of. Put another two and a half inch strip border around the outside uh, to tone that blue down a little bit because the blue is so there right now. So I'll go ahead and get this last border on and then I'll bring you back to start on the backing. So we have all of our front done now. Uh, we did get that last border put on there. Gives it a little added thumping because it is uh, plain blue everywhere. Um, so that was a nice uh, touch to add to it to make it just pop a little bit. So we are going to make the backing out of the solid blue uh, as we put on the front. Now it is 61 and three quarters by 61 and a half. I need four yards of this total. So I'm going to go ahead and get this measured out. Uh, if it ends up we need to put a seam in, then we might do some decorative uh, strips on it or even some blocks i'm not sure yet so i'm gonna go ahead and get this measured out get it ironed flat and i will meet you back here i have both halves of my fabric uh, of course they're cut the same size i did cut them at 66 inches long um so we got a few inches extra on the outside i did that because i'm going to use self binding method on this one uh, so it will be in a blue binding so with the two halves we're just going to line them up so salvage to salvage, and we will bring that to the sewing machine, and I am going to take a good half inch seam on there. We do have plenty because it's with a fabric, so it's about 43. I was going to put uh, some fabric uh, such as this in, but I don't think I'm, I'm just going to take that half inch seam there, uh, get it ironed open, and I will meet you back here. So I got the backing all sewn together. And I just ironed it to one side. Um, if you iron that open, then you will run a, a risk of having it separate out. So I just ironed it over to one side. So we have the back. We have the front. I did make the back a couple inches bigger so we can uh, do soft binding on this one. So I will get the batting cut out. We are just going to cut the batting to size of the front, add an inch around every direction. Then we're going to center it on the, the backing. I'm going to pin that into place. We have this all batted together. With our backing fabric is cut longer, uh, then we got our batting uh, cut the same size, and then our quilt top. I am really excited to get this quilted in and get the binding on it. So let's head to the sewing room and we will go ahead and get started. Okay, so on my sewing machine, you have your stitches over here. So I want to go with a number 30. So you just move your buttons up and down until you hit 30. And it tells you up here which foot to put on it. So it's the letter N. So we are just, whoops, just going to do this with the letter N foot. And we'll get all these put away. Um, I am going to leave a link because I really, really like my sewing machine. I had any problems. This was a refurbished one that I bought on the Brother uh, website. Uh, it's S. Q9285 computerized sewing machine. I'm going to leave a link. There is one on Amazon of this uh, model. So I'm going to leave a link to that. Uh, at least you can go in there and check it out if you're in the market for a new sewing machine. Uh, you can check it out and get all the specifics on it. It does come with the quilting table as well. Uh, the little, little extension table uh, as well as all those feet and everything. Uh, so yeah, it's a nice sewing machine. I really enjoy it. So the color thread I decided to go with is this color. Um, it's kind of a greenish, which will pull out some of the greens, but it's also a kind of a bluish compared to my other greens. So th I think this one's gonna work out the best. The stitch we're using is like a snowflake. Uh, it looks like a snowflake. Uh, it's really cute, really simple. And I was gonna do stitch in the ditch, but I wanted something more on the back. I wanted something decorative. So I'm just going to use that and I'm going to go down each of these rows here. I'm starting with the two that are in the middle and then we'll go out from there. So you do only have to stitch every six to 10 inches because we're putting the binding on the outside. So we'll go ahead and drop our needle right at the seam here. And we'll go ahead and get started. Make sure you got your 
front and back, hold nice and tight uh, so it doesn't wrinkle it up on the back. And it's going to be a slow process, so we'll go a little while. I'll show you the stitch, and then I'll bring you back when we get it all quilted in. So that is what it looks like. I really like it. It doesn't look so much like a snowflake on here uh, as it does a flower. On everything else I've done, it looks like a snowflake. So I think I'm going to keep going. Then you on and get this all quilted in and I'll bring you back. Okay, so as you can see, I got the stitching done and I did a whiter stitching. Uh, it's got the, it, it looks like snowflakes or a flower, a little daisy flower or something. And then I got a, another one of those just in a smaller version next to it. So I just alternated every other one. And the reason I did that is I wanted the back, because it was just solid blue, to have some kind of a pattern or something on it uh, to make it uh, look a little more than plain. So we're going to move on to our trim now because we do only have to quilt every 10 inches. So I thought that was plenty enough. I did start at that first trim. Uh, first sashing between the panel rows so we're ready to go on it and do the binding so we just got to make sure we're nice and flat from these we're going to just go ahead and take our ruler or we're going to go one inch from the outside of our border make sure we're laying nice and flat and we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut that off at that size So I'm going to go ahead and finish getting the cut out one inch all the way around uh, and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to do the binding. Now that we have our quilt all trimmed up the backing, we're going to go ahead and hold that in to meet the edge of that and flip that over and pin that into place and use the clips versus the pins. So you can use these clips instead of the pins because as I said in a previous video when you have a quilt full of pins like this you get poked as you're sewing if you wanted to you can just put the clips in uh, and then you won't get poked so when you get to the corner this end will be folded like that you're going to go ahead and flip that corner in to meet up with the edge of this and then you're going to fold this side down and fold it one more time and that leaves it so you don't get a raw edge that wants to pop out of that end and pin that into place. So we're just gonna work our way around the quilt, bring it to the sewing machine, and we are gonna stitch right along the edge of this binding to make sure that we catch it uh, all the way around the quilt. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, clipped together, bring it to the sewing machine, get it sewn up, and then I will bring you back here to show you the finished quilt. Have the quilt finished now, and I'll give you a close up here of the edge of the seam. So the binding is self-binding. It works awesome. Then you don't have to mess with getting a separate binding on. Either way is fine. I prefer the method of the self-binding myself. So I do use that quite often. So that is what it looks like on the back. Um, nice quilt. The measurement is 61 and a quarter inch wide by 60 and a half inch long. So pretty good size quilt, uh, about five foot. So I did want to show you these corners here. So see what I mean? Like they float uh, the blues around it on all sides. It would have looked much better had we had the uh, things put on, the corners put on right, but this will work. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this one. As always, guys, if you found this video useful, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It really helps our channel grow. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we'd love to have you here at So Granny So. Thanks all. Have a good day. Bye.